I'm going to help you solve your magenta color cast problem. Because a lot of people say use your white balance picker and you'll, you'll be fine. But that's not the case with a lot of magenta color cast problems. Because magenta is a very um, harsh color and it can really infiltrate your photo. So it just isn't a matter of just using your white balance. It's more than that. So I'm going to show you in just 5 minutes how to solve it in Lightroom. And let's just jump into my computer. So right now we're in my computer and as you can see this is a photo I have took especially for this tutorial. I use myself as a model. I hope you like my, my photo. <laughs> well it's not about me, it's about the color. So I've turned down all the lights that made this photo in the evening. There's no light in the, in the studio except me holding two Pavo tubes from Nonlight. Really great uh, uh, lights to use as a, a fill, uh, hair light and stuff. I use a lot with my shoots. In this case I used it to uh, make an extreme magenta color cast to prove that you can solve it without any problems. The only thing is you really need to do stuff on this photo. So what are we going to do? First I'm going to make a virtual copy. So this is my original raw file. I've done nothing to it. This is the, the, the white balance as it was uh, set by the camera. I didn't uh, do it automatically. Mostly I use automatic color um, uh, white balance. So when I use the color picker, as you see, it made the light even a little bit better, but still isn't great. Um, and it's fine. If I do, do it like this, it will be maybe a little bit lower. Well, it's fine like this. I want to um, pump it up a little bit more over here, because I know, because I always shoot a little bit darker than... Um, then most people do, I underexpose all my photos, so a little bit highlight, just a little bit. A little bit right here. A little bit texture. Why not? To make it already look, it pops a little bit, even though the color is already ball. So, now we're going to use the tone curves. That's a very important tool. If you use a tone curve and pull it up like this, it goes really fast. It's very uh, sensitive. So when you use your option key on your Mac or control on Windows, you can do it more like this. You can pull a little harder without overdoing it. So like this is already going in the right direction. But we need, have to do more because especially my Jetta is very, it's just a bitch. So to, to, to help it, we have to do more to it. So we have to pull. A lot of contra colors. Well, bear with me. We don't use S curves. Forget the S curves. It doesn't exist today. And then we go to the blue. Because you want to see the very much orange. You want to pull out the blue. This. It's already looking way better. Like this. So we're getting there. So next thing I always do is go to calibration. I never go to color mixer first. I first do it in calibration. Um, start with the blues. Mm, like this and you see my skin tone getting better and better uh, just a little bit mm. like this this up so we can look like this maybe just a little bit so now I'm going to go in color mixer and not doing everything in color mixer just the the least I want to do in color mixer, so that's what I do. So I want to grab the U, already can see um, how to solve it a little bit. Well, I would say minus 16, just a little bit, little bit back, like this. Don't use a picker of saturation. Um, you can see already like this, but I'm going to do it manually because it's too, I want to make a little adjustment. Minus 3 here. Mm, just like plus one. It's it's is very detailed and um that's that's how it works. You have to be very detailed. But you can use my settings and use it on your own photo. It will be the in the right direction. I I, I think it if you do it like this, the direction of the photo will be I think great. And as you can see the color of my skin is way way better. I could throw up the, the highlight oh sorry, the because it's very high ISO. Try, throw it up a little bit more to make it a little bit more intense. The intensity a little bit higher. Um, the eyes are still have a, a color cast because it's white. And what I could do is use a mask. 
selecting people and then use only use the eye white um eyes and people pe people i am um, use that one create a mask so because that this part is still magenta and you can guess it i'm gonna um, use the color picker just do a little bit like this and also the reds a little bit to the green see here you see, you see the difference you have to do like this oh it's way better like this so my eyes are white and to put the sherry on top uh, select subject i'm gonna make the lights uh, invert the selection I hope they don't go too fast for you guys and um just show them show off the lights because the word is color the light so now you can see that the skin tone is, is great. There's still a little glow of the uh, of the magenta on my skin. I don't mind because I think there should be a glow of magenta in my hair. I could get everything away, but you still want that little magenta glow in the photo because it just looks really cool. And as you can see, this is a solution to your problem. So if you want to see more of my Lightroom tips or tricks, solutions, just tell me in the comment if you don't get it or you you you, uh, you have problems with it no problem but if you want to see more of my work behind the scenes or you want to check out my work on instagram i do a lot on instagram go check it out uh, thanks for watching my video and until, until next time mm -hmm.